Sense Apart USA is offering a cost-effective HMI option for our North American customers. It takes advantage of SensaWeb, the web server built into our cameras. This is a 10-inch display. It's 1336 by 768 resolution. It's running Android. It's IP65 when you panel mount it. Out of the box, on PowerUp, it'll open a browser looking at SensaWeb. There's no configuration or installation required. This is what the bottom of the unit looks like. You can see on the left there's a Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, there's a power uh, plug. It runs on 12 volts. It comes with an adapter. Um, there's an HDMI out, a couple USBs, and an RJ45 Ethernet port. Only one Ethernet can be active at a time, so you can unplug your LAN connection, your RJ45 Ethernet cable, and use the wireless if you want to download an app or if you want to connect wirelessly. And then when you uh, want to connect directly to a visor, you just plug the RJ45 back in, and that'll take over. To panel mount this, you have one rectangular cutout. You don't need to drill holes for studs. It's got these mounting clips. You can see one shown here on the left. You just put it in the hole, you put the mounting clips on. There's four of them, two on each side, and tighten down the screws. This shows Sense of Web in action. You can scroll up and down, just like on your phone. You see the results here of the configured detectors in this table with the score. You can also click on statistics to see how many passed, how many failed images, and the execution times. You can click on jobs to see all the jobs loaded. And here job 11 is highlighted. That's the active job. Scrolling up, you can see the question mark here to the right of the image. If I click on that, it gets rid of this help and reformats the screen where the live image is on the left and this other information is on the right, your results, statistics, and job. If I click on this gray icon, the gray rectangles, that will only display the active detector. And you select the detector by clicking it in this table. You can see I'm going through the third, fourth, fifth detector. Next, we'll cover how to configure the visor for Sensa Web. Here in our configuration software, we're in Sensa Find. You click the Find button in the lower left to find all connected visors. Select one, and then click the Config button on the bottom. It'll ask if you want to start stop the sensor, which you don't want to do on a machine running production. And that will open Sensa Config. We'll create a new job for this and call it Senso Web Test. Next we'll go up into the setup into the output tab or output setup and at the bottom there's a tab called interfaces and row 7 is Senso Web and we need to just check this box to enable it. Now, we do need to create a random detector in order to execute this and then we'll click start sensor because the web server won't work if the visor isn't running. This shows a picture of what you need to get started. You've got our visor in the front, and along with our HMI to monitor it during runtime, including the li see the live image, and the power I.O. cable and Ethernet cable. This tablet doesn't have buttons like the bottom of the phone, but you can swipe up the bottom of the screen and see this taskbar um, to do things like power off on the left, turn the volume down, back button to go backwards in your app, I scroll up again. You can click the circles, the home button to come here to the, your desktop. We'll go back to the app, swipe up again, and click the rectangle, the all apps button. We only have one app running. You can also uh, click the uh, volume up button. To reconnect to the visor, swipe from left to right and click go to start URL. To exit, swipe from left to right and select on the bottom exit fully and you'll exit the browser. If your visor uses a different IP address, your HMI screen will look like this and you need to update the IP address here by swiping left to right and we're always going to pick the top options, settings, and then content settings 
and then start URL. And we can use the keyboard here at the bottom to update this IP address and then click OK. And we'll click the back button to go back to the menu. Click the back button one more time and go to start URL. It'll reload this new home page and it asks you if it's OK. Click yes. Yes. And it's connected to the visor now and it's waiting for an image. And once it's triggered, there's the live image. In the comments below are links to additional content and you can uh, skip to specific points in this video for review.